Right. Hey, this is The Fight Nerd. I'm here now with Marlon Moraes. Marlon, how's it going today? Everything good, man. And now we're here in the uh, new offices of World Series of Fighting. The promotion has just moved to New York City. Uh, what's it like now to be able to have these guys essentially in your backyard? Yeah, I live in Tom's River, so it's good to be close, you know. So anytime I need, I need something, I need a fight, I'm just going to knock the door. Now the big news, of course, is that MMA is now legal in New York City. Uh, do you have any reaction to that? I'm very happy, you know. I want to fight here one day. Uh, New York, I think, is the capital of the world. And, and for me, it would be awesome, you know, be part of a show that's realized here, you know. Now, I'm not sure, quite sure how much you follow the, of the whole history of the sport being legalized here. Uh, but you know, now that we've made a pass here, what do, you, what do you think was the biggest hurdle, really, for getting the sport here legalized? I have no idea, you know. MMA been growing so much, being, being like a lot of guys work with media, uh, different shows in all different parts of the world. Uh, different people working for the sport and so I didn't know a lot of talent a lot of superstars so now uh, the MMA it's here it's legalized here in, in, uh, in New York and I hope work out good you know I hope work out for all the shows and especially for the fans because the fans are gonna gain a lot with this you know right now uh, do you have any news for us on any upcoming fights we haven't seen you in a little while um, and nothing has been announced yet. Can you tell us anything or maybe what we can look forward to? I fought in February and I feel I'm feeling healthy now. So uh, I'm ready. I just want to I want to get some news from the World Series. I know a lot of good guys in my division, you know. I, I, I have a couple challenges. Uh, I still have uh, uh, the guy just fought uh, Justin Gutierrez. Uh, a lot of good guys on the... On the uh, uh, on the 35 division, yeah, Josh Hill been doing good, you know, uh, I fought him and a, a lot of people want to watch the series match and I'm ready, uh, I'm here, uh, the 135 division is, is growing, it's getting strong, I think we have a couple guys that match up well against any 135 in the world, so I'm here, I'm, I'm, I'm ready uh, to, to, to keep doing what I'm doing, you know, proving that we we are here, you know, the world series of fighting here. We we put in a good show, we put in a good fight, and this is all for the fans. Now, since you've joined World Series of Fighting, uh, much like David Branch, who we're hopefully going to talk to a little bit later, uh, you've been enjoying an undefeated streak. You haven't lost at all in World Series of Fighting, and you've been on the top of the division. Uh, so, how does that feel to be that top dog and have that undefeated streak? And do you feel any added pressure because of that? No, I don't feel under pressure. Since I, I fought for the first time in the World Series of Fighting, uh, Ray Sefo and all the guys in the, the, the board, you know, all, all the, the the people that work for the show, they always been helping me, giving giving me all the attention, and, and, and I never feel under pressure. So every time I'm fighting, I'm performing, and, and I'm doing what I love to do, and, and doesn't matter against who, where, Every time I'm on the, on the World Series of Fighting Cage, and I'm happy because I know I'm doing something I love and I'm working for good people. Now you've been with World Series of Fighting since essentially the beginning of the company. Uh, how do you feel as a fighter that you've grown? I feel very happy. Like I said on, on the first show, uh, I'm a fighter, uh, I have a lot of dreams and one of my dreams is be the best in the world. And I'm gonna try get there uh, getting the World Series bigger, you know, and this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to put in a good fight, be recognized one of the best fighters in the world, and this way, everybody know the World Series, everybody's watching, everybody wanna know when's the next card, so uh, I'm trying to work hard on this, you know, and, and I, I, I'm gonna keep getting better, and that's a lot of things to come, you know, I'm very excited, we work on the lab, a lot of new stuff, so I'm ready to go out there and, and, and fight MMA, you know. Now, UFC bantamweight champion Dominic Cruz, have you ever thought about what it would be like to fight him? And how do you think you would do in a fight against him? We always say, I can say anything because I'm not going to fight him now. But uh, if we have to fight and, and we're in the same league, uh, I know I can, I can give him a lot of trouble, you know. I have a lot of weapons and I think I match, I match up very well against him. Now, currently, uh, you've been training with Ricardo Almeida for quite some time. Uh, what's it like training with Ricardo? How, how does his classes work? How does he run his gym? 
yeah, Ricardo is a very smart coach, you know. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you guys how he coaches, but he's a very good coach, and, and I'm very happy. He's one of the best jiu-jitsu coaches in the world, and I'm 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 grateful to 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 have the opportunity to be working with him. And how long have you known Ricardo? I know Ricardo since 2000, 2012, wow. and the first time he sees me. He always the same since the first time I see him. He always the same now, you know. But I I, I used to watch his fights in the UFC uh, back in the days, and I never thought one day work with him. And sometimes I'm in the gym, I sit on the wall, and I keep thinking like, man, I'm in the same match, Ricardo. Now he's my coach. He's helping me get ready for the fight. This is awesome, you know. What attracted you to Ricardo's gym in the first place? Uh, it was Frankie, you know, I always been a, a Frankie Edgar fan and I, I had an invitation from my, my buddy Edson Barbosa. He invited me to come here, train, see how they do, how they do business and I like it. It was an opportunity, like life opportunity for me. It changed my life being here training with Frankie, Ricardo and Mark. And if, if I'm here now, I'm the champion, I'm, of, I'm one of the best 35ers in the world, I own everything to these three guys, you know, because they help me a lot. Uh, you mentioned Frankie Edgar. Uh, what's it been like training with him? How has that sharpened your skills? It's not good, you know. He's a very tough guy, you know. Uh, he keeps coming. He, he trains hard every day. And that's not easy training with that guy, you know. And we sometimes hate him because all training is hard, man. It's, it's good. It's good for me, it's good for all the, the team, team part, team, teammates, you know, everybody like him, everybody likes to work with him. So we learn every day and we try to help him and he try to help us and that's a good team. So what do you see Frankie doing to Jose Aldo at UFC 200? I think Frankie is gonna dominate this fight, you know, it's a new fight, new captor and it's new Frankie Edgar, you know, new I think one of the most complete fighters in the world and I think he's gonna dominate this fight and he's gonna win. He's gonna be the next champion and and if he have to fight one day with Connor, it's gonna be a, again, you know, it's gonna be easier than Aldo. Now, something I, I talked to you before we started rolling was I first met you after you knocked out Tyson Nam and I remember that very first interview we did, back then I remember you just saying how happy you were and you, even today you're still saying I'm so happy, I'm happy. What makes Marlon Murray so happy all the time? I, when I talk to a lot of fighters, I don't get that same kind of reaction. <laughs> because, man, I, I, I'm doing what I love, you know? I'm enjoying. I went to the gym today, I trained, and I'm glad to, to be doing this, you know? A lot of people can do the, to do train, can they, they work with things that they don't like, you know? And every day I go to the office, I'm doing what I love to do. So you're, you're basically, you're living the dream. Yeah, I'm every day, man. I go to the gym happy and I go home happy, but I want to come back to the gym hanging out with my friends because the way we spar, we train, you know, it's like we like hanging out with each other, but we hit each other in the face, on the body, but we love each other and, and I love what I'm doing. All right, Marlon, thank you so much and we look forward to seeing you back in the cage very soon. Thank you and thank you for the opportunity to be here and guys, uh, World Series of Fighting is only few years here and we're gonna grow and we're gonna get there. We believe each other.